just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Ravens versus Earl Thomas is finally over. I know this has been, <laughs> this has been something that's been going on for a super, super long time, man. This this thing had felt like it had been going on for forever. Of course, we know the Ravens. Uh, they signed Earl Thomas um, in 2019 to a uh, a four year. Uh, deal worth like 55 mil like 35 or 33 mil guaranteed um, and I remember just I remember thinking back like I like the signing of Earl Thomas but I, I hated the deal I, 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 I hated it I did not like it and I was just very scared because he was coming off of the, the two broken legs and two seasons in a row I know he could play I know when he when he played he could play and I felt like he was a, a good player for the Ravens um, again, he did run his mouth from time to time and that kind of backfired, but uh, overall, uh, he was a good player uh, for the Ravens, in my opinion. I know a lot of people, they, they disagree with that, but I think a lot of it is like uh, based off of what happened off the field, because they take that and they're like, oh, I didn't like what he did off the field, so he wasn't a good player, but I, I disagree. But anyway, um, the Ravens, we know Earl Thomas and Chuck Clark, they got into their little ready to rumble, uh, fight night, little boxing match or whatever. Um, and the Ravens were like, Earl Thomas, you gotta go. You gotta go. Um, then you start hearing all these reports. Oh, Earl Thomas, he, he would show up late to practice just to get his car washed and stuff. And it, and it was just so funny how timely those reports were coming out based off of everything that happened. It is just such a coincidence that those reports started to come out uh, when the Ravens seemed to want to get rid of and move on from one Earl Thomas. But anyway, they did that. They, they released him uh, for conduct detrimental to the team. And of course, him posting those practice clips, that certainly didn't help anything at all either. Um, but they had this grievance where they were trying to avoid this 10 mil uh, bonus that they gave him. He was trying to keep it. They were trying to get it back. And it was just this whole back and forth thing for years, man. For years. Literally for years. Um, and the Ravens, uh, initially, with the 10 mil, they, that was uh, given to them on their salary cap, I believe. Now, let me try to make sure I'm explaining this the right way. Um, now, if they would have lost the grievance then they would just lose 10 mil on a future salary cap like if they would have lost it this year then they would have had to lose 10 mil in the salary cap space now if they would have won the grievance then nothing would happen they would not gain any salary cap space because they had already gained that 10 mil uh in salary cap space before they had already gained it so um they apparently have settled, shout out to Brian McFarlane, they settled with Earl Thomas and they settled for 1.5 mil. So that means there's 1.5 mil removed from their salary cap right now. So they, there's 1.5 mil that's been taken away from them uh, with their salary cap. So the Earl Thomas versus the Ravens, it is finally over. It's a wrap. It's done. So thank goodness for that because it's been... Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Um, so, Earl Thomas moves on. The Ravens move on. And any fans that have been asking about it and wondering about it, we can all finally move on. Now, um, Ravens, uh, they did settle in with somebody else who they, they kind of fell out of their favor as well. And that's Mr. Chicago Bears. Derek Wolf. Get it? Chicago Bears. Anyway, um, it's a little dad joke. With Derek Wolf. Is somebody who the Ravens uh, they ended up settling with him too. Uh, I want to say two weeks ago uh, when they were they released him on a uh, with an injury settlement. Uh, but we were all waiting to hear the details of what that settlement would be because um, with the settlement, whatever they paid him to settle, uh, whatever like the difference was, then they that would be on their salary cap. But anyway. Um, so, with Derek Wolf, uh, they did an injury settlement with him uh, for 1.2 mil. So, his, his salary this year, he had a guaranteed salary of 2 mil um, that was guaranteed to him. 
but since they released him with the injury settlement then whatever they settled with the difference the Ravens would gain and then he would keep the rest so uh, they settled with him for 1.2 mil so he got to keep 1.2 mil of the 2 mil salary I mean the, of the 2 mil guaranteed salary but then the Ravens they save 800 K in cap space because that was a difference so they get 800,000 in cap space um, from the Derek Wolf part uh, so that gives them a uh, Brian McFarlane broke it down he said they now they currently have 3.277.24 mil in cap space so they got about 3.2 mil in cap space right now so it's not really uh, much to work with he said himself he said that's enough to get their remaining three draft picks signed but not much else. I'm trying to think of who are the last of their draft picks that they need to sign. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, but I, I know y'all will remember in the comment section. But um, and he said they will still have to reach an extension or restructure to create space for future needed expenses. And he listed things like injury reserve, the physically unable to perform list, uh, or the practice squad. Um, so some two people who could create a significant amount of cap space uh, for the Ravens is obviously the quarterback Lamar Jackson. We know he's playing on his fifth year option right now um, and that is about I think 23 mil, a little over 23 mil um, but if they were able to come to a contract extension uh, with Lamar Jackson then I, I believe, dude, don't, don't quote me on it, but I believe if they came with a contract extension with him they could free up about 25 mil in cap space now we ain't even got to talk about if he should if he shouldn't we ain't even got to get on to, into all that but if they came up with a contract extension with him it would open up a lot of their cap space for the right here right now now another person and i was just talking to my guy jason about this this morning um marcus peters marcus peters is another one where they could come to a contract extension with him and that uh, would open up a, a significant amount of cap space as well so we'll see we'll see uh, you, you just got a feeling that Ravens are not gonna be fine just walking around with a little like 3.2 million cap space and of course there, there's still cuts to be made they got to get through training camp and whatnot they, they got to get through all that stuff um, but you gotta feel like they're not just gonna be wanting to walk around with just 3.2 mil in cap space. So I'm sure uh, more moves are on the way. Um, whether it's an extension with somebody, and, and it could be somebody else besides uh, those top two guys with Lamar Jackson uh, and uh, Marcus Peters. Um, it could be somebody else. They could restructure a contract, even though that's like a sort of last resort type of thing. I know they did that with Brandon Williams like 20 times. He got his re contract restructured over and over and over and over and over. Um, but they got options. They got options. Uh, because with the salary cap, you know, we always say the, the cap is cap. It, it, it is ways to maneuver. It. It's, it's ways to work around it. It's ways to get around it. It's, it's really plenty of ways to really beat that salary cap, man. Um, so we'll see uh, what the Ravens come up with uh, in order to gain a little bit more bread because like they always talk about they, they, they like walking around with some some loose change for a rainy day um, as everybody should um, so we'll see what happens but congratulations Ravens on finally uh, beating the Earl Thomas case uh, it's officially over and with Derek Wolf um, it's nice that this they had a nice uh, peaceful uh, resolution because you see the the difference with a, with a little ugly resolution it, it took like two years versus a, a peaceful resolution it took like two weeks anyway team keep it clean i love y'all i appreciate y'all and just like Derek wolf and earl thomas both are i'm out yeah this feels like a dream